Hello, and welcome back. Uh, so last we were just kind of talking about this class versus uh, intro stats. Uh, and then we left off, I guess, right here with downloading R Studio and R. Um, and we'll just move straight on into, and I think this will be a pretty short video too, um, the brass tacks, okay? So, and you can find this information on the uh, trusty dusty syllabus, but I'm gonna talk about it too, uh, just as kind of a reminder. Um, so there are three big you know, sort of grades in this class. Um, the first of which are homeworks, homework assignments. Um, they range from 10 to 30% uh, of your final grade. And just as a little recap, a little refresh, uh, the reason why, and this is a range instead of like a fixed thing is because you're gonna be uh, voting on it as a class. Um, of course, this is not, <laughs> you don't get your own um, kind of thing. It's, it's more of a democracy here. Uh, so whatever the popular vote is, uh, or at least a true democracy, uh, whatever the popular vote is, is what's going to go. So anyway, um, homeworks are going to range from 10 to 30 percent. Uh, very much going to be um, not open-ended totally, but um, I will be grading you on your process and your code um, rather than sort of the totally right answer, because I don't have an answer key for any of these really. Um, but I do kind of, I just want to see how you uh, individually go through a problem and kind of figure it out that way. Um, there's not going to be any more than four. So that's about, I guess, about once a month, there about. Um, and they're going to be done in trios. I think the syllabus says maybe duos. Uh, I changed it just to make <laughs> one, your lives a little bit easier and also mine. Uh, so I don't have to grade a ton of them. I only have to grade a fraction of them. Um, and they should, they should not take too, too long to complete. Um, you know, you, you don't have to do, I, I would, well, here's, here's what I'll say. I'll say that three hours is probably, uh, a good amount of time, um, any less, and you've, pr you're probably going to lose points. It might be obvious, um, any more, um, then you might be kind of overthinking it or, um, just making it pretty, <laughs> which is cool. I, I am not against, uh, pretty assignments, um, or at least whatever you turn in. Uh, but that's kind of the gist here. Um, nothing more than four. Um, no, no answer keys or anything like that. Um, and you've got, uh, you're going to be doing it at homework trios, homework groups. Um, just because I find that that makes, uh, learning a whole lot easier. And one person may get something that another person doesn't, you know, you, you've heard that spiel before. So anyway, uh, that's, that's homework. Uh, the next thing are the exams. So we're going to have two, uh, one at the middle of the semester, obviously, uh, and the one final exam. And I'm trying to kind of recall last semester when I taught this, I think, man, I think we had it before spring break, the midterm, and then the final exam, well, the final exam is just whenever the university says it is. Um, of course, though, um, I'm not really big on, you know, having it do one day and you also doing it on the same day. So I give you a range. Um, I, I believe it's about a week, uh, seven days for you to work on this. Um, again, it's very much, um, I give you a problem and then you give me the uh, solution. I don't have a, a single right answer for this. Uh, it's very much like a project uh, rather than an exam. I just have to frame it like an exam just to make um, <laughs> the university not get on my tail about it. Um, again, done in trios. Um, so same trios, gonna, gonna be your homework groups. Um, and I'll switch those around as well. Um, and then in general, kind of like I said, it's gonna be a, more of a project than it is gonna be like multiple choice or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna give you data. Um, everyone will likely get the same data set. Uh, I might, might make a few options. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> no, you will have uh, options, um, but the whole group will work on the same the same data set. Uh, and that's kind of that. Um, and I suppose I don't really have too much else to say unless I get an email from somebody uh, with a question, then I'll, I'll go from there. Um, and then, oh yeah, the big difference between homeworks and uh, the, the exams, the, the projects, so to speak, um, is the amount of um, help I'm willing to give. I will be here 100% of the time for you <laughs> with the homeworks. 
Um, but for the exams, this is very much like, I'm totally naive. Uh, we could kind of think of it as like a, um, you're the statistical consultant and I'm a client, a researcher or something like that. I have no idea <laughs> what's going on. Um, and, and it's going to be all you all the time. So that's the big difference between the two. Um, the midterm exams or the two exams will take a little bit longer. Um, I think, I don't think it'll take the whole week for you to do, but a, a solid kind of hour, you know, for four or five days, um, is, is good enough for me. So that leaves us with the in-class labs. And you'll notice, actually, let me go back here for a second. Uh, the midterm ranging from 20 to 40, final exam 40 to 60. Um, again, you're going to be choosing uh, what you want there. Uh, I think most people choose right around like 20 to 30%, which is fine. Uh, but it is different every semester. But that does leave us with the in-class lab assignments. Um, I suppose I need to not call this in-class anymore because we're out of class. Um, but they are um, more or less like labs uh, and they are weekly um, and they're going to be whatever percentage is left over. So uh, whatever you decide the homeworks and exams are, uh, whatever 100 minus the sum of those two things is, is going to be what uh, the lab assignments are worth. Um, again, this is more, uh, more of kind of like seeing where you're at. Um, this is not going to be so much graded on correctness unless there's something like glaringly wrong um, or like a big issue or something like that. But um, it's all for completion. So you can kind of think of it as like a uh, uh, attendance record kind of thing. Um, so they're assigned on Friday. You get the weekend and a couple of days through the week to work on it. I do not think um, you need the weekend to do it, but you could probably do it on a Sunday night for a couple, maybe maybe an hour um, and, and you'll be good. Um, and it's due on Wednesday. So that's pretty much that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me uh, or um, set up a, sign, a time to Zoom uh, or ask during the weekly class meetings. Uh, but other than that, uh, that is pretty much it. So I think, I think that's really all I have to say. So uh, the next little series of lectures, these little blue slides right here, uh, are going to be kind of a recap of 2050. Uh, and that'll be that. So I will catch you then.